Hey guys, how's it going? Shindo here, and today, for a final recap of the Delve League, I wanted to not only give a brief opinion on the league in itself, but also share what was my favorite build to play out of all I created. And this might even be received by you guys as an inspiration to maybe play that build later in Betrayal. That's coming tomorrow and I'm so hyped about. So first of all, let's start by talking for a bit about the Delve League in general. Well, in my opinion, it has to be one of the best leagues that I played in Path of Exile, if not the best. And to be honest, I don't believe I'm the only one to think so, since the community has also great things to say about this league. The sheer amount of content that is available in Delve is pretty amazing, and I can't imagine the amount of work that was put into creating this almost endless dungeon full of different things to find along your path in Delve, tons of groups of mobs, which is just what we intend to do when playing this game, killing monsters of course, and the infamous boss is called Al, that unfortunately I didn't get to fight. The rewards given in every card station, and of course the cheeky crafting system with the fossils and a bunch of more stuff. It's obvious that all of this content can get almost every Path of Exile player excited. But of course, the league is not perfect, not even close. With only a few months to create it, there's bound to be problems with it as well. And since I'm not here to criticize and bash out a league that is not even with us anymore, and now it's a part of Path of Exile's history, I won't go into detail of every problem it has, but that doesn't mean I won't mention a few. So first of all, the RNG system that was implemented on the bosses that were spread out across the delve is an absolute bummer, since most of the players weren't able to even find these bosses, which brings most of us to not actually enjoy the full content of the league, because bosses are of course a big factor in RPG games, especially PoE, and other little problems were the RNG when it came to the items for the crafting system itself. You could either buy them or spend hours trying to find them and not even find any. <laughs> and the last but not least, the sulfite grind, which was changed a bit eventually, but not as well as it should have. But that's enough of talking about Delph, because overall it was a really good league when it comes to content, to the game, and most importantly it was fun. So now let's talk about what was my favorite character or build out of all I created. The build was a Shadow Assassin Critical Blade, Vortex. Yes, everyone knows I played Vortex has been OP for the longest time, but to be honest, I had never actually played until the endgame a Blade Vortex build. Because I thought it was kinda lame having to keep pressing the ability all the time just to activate the skill and repeat this process over and over again. And oh boy was I wrong, this skill is so fucking good. It has damage numbers that I've never seen in any build I played, and the sheer satisfaction of blowing up the enemies with a cold damage and critical strikes combined cannot be explained by simple words. You have to try this build if you haven't already, but to be honest I bet I'm the only one that is playing this for the first, the first time. Even though I'm not considering right now, because I want to try new builds, I'm probably going to play a Blade Vortex in, a, like, in the next league. Well everyone, we still need to wait one more day until the new league begins, so let's be patient. But if you enjoyed this video and are looking forward for more content like this in the future, then drop a like and subscribe, because it would mean a lot. Um, this is all for today guys, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. See ya! Thank you.